Okay, Matt uh, here at Oilers Hockey School for another year. Uh, what's it like just being here once again? This is great. I mean, I grew up kind of in these ranks here in St. Albert. I'm from here. Um, and then to see the kids' expressions, uh, <laughs> there's a goalie out there. I shot on him and the puck went in and he just stared at me for three <laughs> seconds, just, just blank. So, I mean, that's, that's the type of thing that, I mean, that's why we're out here um, as role models for these, these young kids uh, growing up and, and playing hockey. You mentioned the goalie that was starstruck. Uh, kids can say the darndest thing sometimes. Has uh, any of the kids said something funny today? Or? Yeah, I mean, the young kids are really funny. 90% of the time they just... It's not a question, it's a statement. Yeah. So that's super cute. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just so happy. I think they just they just want me to stay around as long as I can. So it will be a few hands up and then a few will pop up and they don't even have a question. So uh, today, geez, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> one little girl asked if I was married. I thought that was pretty funny. So um, yeah. Not bad. Uh, as far as your off season is going, um, have you gone anywhere? Any vacations? I know you were with uh, Nuge at his wedding. What yeah. was it like there? And, and just tell us about that. Yeah, it's kind of been a little bit of wedding season for me. Uh, I've had a bunch this summer. Uh, I'm going to an ex teammates uh, this weekend, Strom, uh, and then I uh, had Nuge's in Hawaii, and that was that was great. So uh, Nuge did a did a really good job in that. Um, so yeah, I, I, that's kind of the only only place I've traveled. I've kind of try to stay as local as I can and, and stay focused on skating and training. I know you tied the knot last year. What's it like just seeing a, a friend and teammate do the same? Yeah, it was it was it was awesome. I mean, um, I think when we're all together, we kind of put on the show that oh, we don't want to do this and whatever. But in, in that moment, you see you see the, the trueness of it, and and it was great. I think Nuge did a such a good job. It was beautiful. Um, I think from the teammates' weddings that I've been to, it's they've they've been awesome. So, uh, well done. Uh, as far as the Oilers go, obviously there's been some changes in the offseason. Uh, Ken Holland comes in as president of Hockey Operations and general manager, as well as Dave Tippett and Jim Playfair. Uh, what are your thoughts on just the changes uh, to the management group? Yeah, I mean, I don't know much. It's, it's exciting, but nerve-wracking for players. Uh, kind of where do you stand with them? And, and, but it's also an, it's a, it's a new start sort of thing. So um, I think guys this summer are really focused on, on coming in, and, and starting off on the right foot and that sort of thing. Um, besides a few, few uh, handshakes and, and uh, small talk conversations, I, I don't know much about them, but uh, excited uh, in the future to get, get to know them. How close are you following the free agent acquisitions? Uh, Archibald comes in, as well as Granlin, Mike Smith. Yeah. What do you think about just those uh, acquisitions? Yeah, I think that's great. I think that brings some experience to our squad, and those are, those are guys that have played in the league before and in a long time, uh, so I'm excited in that sense. Uh, to, to learn from them, right? I mean, we have we have such a young team, and I think having a good mix of older and, and younger is is good and that sort of thing. So, uh, really excited to have those guys. I haven't been able to talk to them face to face, but uh, just over text messages and that stuff. So I think I think they're really excited, and I think guys are coming back early uh, to, to kind of get things going and, and and have a good start to the season. And you mentioned it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, you're a vet now. Um, how in the blue line could look a little bit different as well. Yeah. How do you, you've been in the process where you've had to be eased in a little bit yourself by vets. How are you going to do that uh, this year and manage that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be different for me. I mean, my D partner, for the most part, last, well, yeah, both my D partners last year are now uh, elsewhere. Um, so I think for me, it's just focusing on, uh, on getting some chemistry with whoever I'm playing with. Um, and I mean, as a, as a young guy coming in, you're, you don't want to step on any of the other guys' toes. Um, I think I'm still in that position. There's a lot of guys that are there that have a bunch of years of experience on me, um, but um, that doesn't mean I'm, I'm not going to push for their spot. I want to do the best I can for the team, and I, I think that keeps everyone on their toes and, and pushes everybody. And personally for yourself, how's the training going? Uh, where are you training? With who? Uh, what are you focusing on specifically? Yeah. Um, just training at the rink with Chad, and, and that's been great. Uh, there's a bunch of prospects that come in throughout the season or throughout the off season, and that's and that's good. And um, I mean, Brodziak was there for a little bit, and and some of the other guys. Chris Russell comes in uh, when he's in town, so that's that's good. Um, and then I've been skating with David Pelche. He does a really good job and, and edge work and that sort of thing. So I think this summer I focus on getting on the ice earlier. I was I was on the ice in June, which most most of the time I'm in on the ice in July. Um, just kind of getting familiar. I want to start the season kind of how I finished and, and, and moving forward. 
And you mentioned my last question was just going to be how you finished with a strong performance late. Um, how do you carry that over into a new season? Well, I think a lot of it's mindset. I think um, early on in, in the season, it's it's kind of getting used to how how it is to play again. I mean, it's it's one th people don't believe me when I say that, but it's it's. Uh, it, it's over four or five months in the off season. You kind of lose that a little bit, and and that sort of thing. And even when you skate, you're not doing much contact. So I think I'm focusing on 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 just getting into it right away and and uh, getting my edges set and, and pivoting correctly and, and that sort of thing. There's just a lot of little things that that players, well, when they're on, they they're doing those sort of things, and I'm more so just working on those things. Perfect. Good. Awesome. Thanks again.